So, I've done some damage. I'm, I'm fucking crazy, you guys. I've just been shopping like crazy. I go through periods where I don't buy anything for months and months and months. And then I feel like I don't have anything to do a YouTube video on. And then I'll go to the mall and I'll buy something. And then I'll go online and I'll buy something else. And then I'll go to another website and I'll buy like three other things. And before I know it, I bought like 12 perfumes. So that's what happened recently. I'm just gonna, this is gonna be a cumulative haul. I also have three or four perfumes coming in the mail that I may do a separate video on. So it's been hot, like super hot in the world. Um, I live in El Paso, Texas, and you guys, it's been like 110 degrees, 113, 100 and oh my God, it's been boiling. Like you cannot stink. It's like take a shower three times a day hot. Okay, I'm really exaggerating. But I do take two showers a day. I have to. So you cannot wear these smoky, ambery, like oriental fragrances in this weather. So I've been hunting down some freshies. Some good, delicious freshies that just make you smell fresh and clean. I want to say most of these are all good summer perfumes. So maybe we can do like that type of vibe. There's one that I bought just because of reviews. That's like a vanilla fragrance, but we'll get into it. So, first thing in this haul is Beautiful Magnolia Leu. They, I wanted the three ounce bottle, but I, I bought it at Dillard's. Why is it dirty? And um, the lady at Dillard's wanted to give me the display and the box is already open. And I was like, I don't want an open box. I just got the 50 ml, which I never do. I don't know why I like to buy the big bottles. Do you like it? I think it smells quite nice. Look, let's spray it, spray it together. <laughs> just gonna sneeze. She's gonna sneeze just a bit. She's like, stop it. So beautiful. If you don't know the regular beautiful magnolia, the original, it's a very like straightforward magnolia floral fragrance, very light, very airy, very feminine. It's really nice and fresh. It's one of my favorites. Um, to be honest, from Estee Lauder, I have just a couple of fragrances. I'm not a big Estee Lauder girl. I love Beautiful Magnolia, though. It is very basic, if you will. And this one is a nice, fresh, like, aquatic take on that Magnolia DNA. It's nice. Like, if I had to go back, I probably would not have purchased the original Beautiful Magnolia. I would just get a big bottle of this because I feel like this is just a better version. They're really not too different. But when I smelled this, it was a, an immediate to love it first sniff in the store and I bought it on the spot. And I never ever do that. Usually I think about it and I'll walk around the mall, I'll come back. This is one that I was just like, here's my credit card. I will take it. I want the big bottle lady, but I also want like a fresh bottle. So this is Beautiful Magnolia Low, or Low, sorry, Beautiful Magnolia Low. I highly recommend this. If you like the original Beautiful Magnolia or if you like floral fragrances and you like aquatic fragrances with a little bit of a citrus vibe, ugh, it's just fresh. If it's hot outside, this is what you want to smell like. You don't want to smell too much. The next perfume that I purchased was a repurchase. Um, I bought two Victoria's Secret perfumes, which I had avoided Victoria's Secret for so long. I keep telling myself, like, it's like a bad boyfriend, to be honest. I'm not going to go back. I'm not answering his texts. Like, I'm not. Mm. And then you do. So I feel like with Victoria's Secret, I will use her fragrances and then I'll be like, man, I wonder why this fragrance gives me a little bit of a headache. And I think it's just like cheap ingredients, to be honest. But I love it. Like, I do love Victoria's Secret. I do. Like, I just, I can't deny it. I like it. So this is Victoria's Secret Love. I don't remember the name of it, but there was another spinoff of this perfume, like in a green bottle. I finished all of that. I finished the bottle of this and I was in the store with my mom and I smelled it and I was like, man, like that smells so good. And this reminds me of 2020 in a good way, not a bad way. Um, I lived alone in my apartment during 2020 and 2021. Um, I loved that apartment, you guys. Like it was, so my favorite apartment I've ever lived in or condo actually was in Denver, Colorado on a travel assignment. It was like so nice. We had a, had a garage, 
a mini garage and then you would come into the garage and it had stairs up to like the living room and the kitchen and then it had like two bedrooms so it was good size and my apartment here in El Paso that I had for almost two years was just pretty much exactly the same um you would come up the stairs and then I had my living room and my kitchen and but it was a one bedroom so it was a little bit better um and then we had a really nice courtyard like I just really enjoyed my apartment and I had a lot of good memories in that apartment. Um, and this reminds me of that. And I don't know, I just think it's a really nice, fresh, juniper comforting fragrance. This is also a little bit powdery and it's nice for the warm weather. Like this radiates off of your body nicely. It doesn't smell like it's too strong or too, too much. So if you're in Victoria's Secret, smell this. I think this is one of their better fragrances. I also purchased this fragrance from Victoria's Secret. This is Victoria's Secret Bombshell Isle with a perfume. So the original Bombshell for me is just such a, I don't know, it just reminds me of 2010, like period. It's not my favorite. I would not buy it. I bought it before in the past, but it's really not me. This is nice because it's the Bombshell DNA with lots of coconut coconut suntan like i love 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 this this is so good like so good if you like coconut but you want a fresh coconut that's not going to choke people out in this extreme heat this is perfect and then on top of that i feel like this is just a good everyday fragrance as well um it's not super juvenile there's definitely like some woodiness and some like like almost like a like tonic vibe with that citrus note and it smells so sweet and fresh and it's just really nice this is a really nice fragrance from Victoria's Secret as well if you are into Victoria's Secret I would check it out so another one I added and I bought this from Anthropology. this is by Fleur and this is based off reviews and I'm so glad I got it it's called not your baby um, it's a really really nice powdery lipstick type fragrance this isn't the freshest thing in the world to be honest this might actually not be appropriate for extreme heat but it's not so heavy that you can't wear it during the heat. You know what I mean? This is just so nice. I actually wore this to my mom's birthday and I've worn it a couple of times just here and there to different things. And I hadn't received like a compliment on my perfume in so long. And I've had like three or four people at work, my mom and a few other people just randomly compliment me that I smelled good with this fragrance. I really like the magnetic cap as well on the Fleur fragrances. Um, it just feels really high quality. This is also a healthy like ingredient fragrance, which is really nice. It's powdery violet, lipstick, sweet, feminine girly, like just the inside of a makeup bag. You, you just wanna smell like this. This is what I wanna smell like personally. And I like the title or the name of the fragrance too, Not Your Baby. So this next one was another love at first sniff. Um, I know this has been out for a while, but I had not been out shopping for perfume, so I didn't had no idea what this smelled like. And I'm not the biggest Marc Jacobs fan, but this is Marc Jacobs Daisy Ever So Fresh. The Ooh So Fresh does smell very nice, but if you like mango and pineapple and tropical fruits, this is going to be your jam like this almost has so much tartness to it that it smells a little bit green on um, first spray but once it dries down you get mango and pineapple and just fresh citrusy vibes and just woodiness and it dries down to the most delicious like sweetened mango with like woodiness i don't know it smells super sexy super clean and this is like the perfect 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 like super hot weather perfume i like this so much and i wanted the big bottle but they were out of it i've only had this for like literally a week and i've used quite a bit of it because i just over spray it that's the only thing i would say i think this is an eau de parfum it doesn't act like it like i it acts like an eau de toilette <laughs> um the lasting power isn't that great i mean maybe you get Four hours or so but it's a good freshy if you like fruity woody fragrances I would definitely suggest checking this out even if you don't I think that's one a lot of people would like and it's not typical 
of the Marc Jacobs Daisy line. It really isn't. Now the next one is a bit more typical if you ask me, but I just liked it. Um, I was in a Marc Jacobs kick. I bought these two together. This is the Marc Jacobs Daisy Love Uso Sweet. This is another one that you can't wear in the hot heat. But damn, this smells good. This is a nice sweet fragrance, just like the name says. Sweet, like cookie, lactonic, vanilla, with a little bit of a playful, almost like a raspberry note, something like that. Um, it's not the most groundbreaking DNA. Like it's just kind of like basic, if you will, but it smells so super super good this is one i could see like as a good date night fragrance or a good like daytime brunch fragrance it's just playful and sweet and sexy and something that you would want to smell on someone it's very inviting at the same time and friendly it's not the most sophisticated fragrance but i like it it's cute all right so the next four fragrances are all from anthropology I just wanted to try out their fragrances. I've heard really good things. Um, so this is Vanilla Brilliant. This was launched in the winter time. It's a really nice, like oriental fragrance, oriental vanilla fragrance. And it, it really surprised me because when I saw Vanilla Brilliant, because I've used Pistachio Brulee, I've used a couple of these and I really like them. But they've always been very simple fragrances, if you will. Nothing too groundbreaking, just like simple, like smell good, like on the go type fragrances. I've always liked them. I've never tried one that I didn't like. Very likable fragrances that you could buy for anybody and they probably would like them. This is a little bit more like niche like vanilla, if you will. I know I've smelled this before but it smells like an expensive fragrance. If you can still get this and you do like those oriental vanillas with that incense -y background, I would definitely try it. And when it dries on your skin, you get a little bit of that smoky incense -y scent, but mostly like a, de a delicious like creme brulee, like burnt vanilla. It's beautiful, 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 beautiful. I really want to buy pistachio brulee again. But I think those two together, these those two misks together would just be chef's kiss. And this is super cheap. Like the anthropology, anthropology fragrances like this. Um, and this is from Le Monde Gourmand. The rest of these, I think, are... So I have one that's actually anthropology and three Le Monde Gourmand. But Le, Le Monde Gourmand perfumes are like $25. I'll link them on Amazon. I think that's where I got this particular one from, but they also sell them Anthropology. but I'll link both. I'll link Anthropology's website and Amazon, but they're super cheap. Um, you can buy them and what's good about Amazon is you can just return them and they smell so good. I honestly recommend all of them. I think I've smelled all of them in Anthropology, and they all smell amazing. The next one is Citron Lassé. This one is from Le Monde Gourmand as well. I've been using this one, as you can see, a lot for the gym. It smells like a la lime lemon sherbet, like just like what you would think, Citron like Lassé. It smells like literally lime sherbet. So delicious, very gourmand, it's very like just mm, it smells mm, like that <laughs> honestly I've been mixing this one with a lot of different perfumes it just has such a nice citrus vibe to it that I can mix it with so many different things it's a good mixing perfume and it's 25 bucks and it's just nice the next one is La Soda Pop and as you can imagine it's supposed to smell like soda and I would I don't know about you guys but one of my vices is Diet Coke I could drink Diet Coke all day I actually kind of get craving one right now um and it literally smells like Coke, like, like Coca-Cola, like just so nice. And it, when it dries down, it has a bit of a, a fizzy cinnamon -y vibe to it. And I like it. I really like it. It's so playful, but when it dries down your skin, it just, it just brings happy vibes. Like this is a happy perfume to have and it's so fizzy and fun. And I think that this would be something very difficult to pull off 
to smell like coke but it smells good this one is actually by anthropology it's called golden hour and it is actually super super nice oh, it's like a like it smells like a sunrise like a happy sunrise in the mountains it's a little bit woody um there's definitely some like electronic creaminess vibe sandalwood to it it smells amazing very hippie very like free people um yeah i like it and you guys that is it so far for my haul i hope you guys enjoyed this um i really like all these perfumes i did declutter two perfumes on mercari um i'll leave my mercari below because when i declutter perfumes a lot of people ask me i usually do it on mercari um i bundle everything really nicely it's rare i I, I just did an updated collection video. I love all the perfumes that I have right now. I don't have the biggest collection. I've had like 200 plus bottles of perfume at one time. And I've gotten it down to like my happy little collection. So even though I added a bunch of perfumes this time, like I'm not typically gonna add a whole bunch like this all that often. I will talk about the ones I have. I can review things in stores and things like that. but. For me, I don't know, I've really been thinking about the way I do things and even my shopping habits. And as far as like fragrance and things like that are concerned, I'm, I'm very big on not being wasteful. And that's why I do sell my perfumes. It's not so much to like sell them and get money for them. It's just to sell them that way somebody else can use them. I give a ton of perfumes to my mom, a ton to my family members that, you know, want them. but there's only so much that you can give and then everyone's like full so that's why I sell them but if you guys are interested in anything on my Mercari I'll link it below I don't even have any perfumes for sale right now but I do post them here and there I will talk to you guys later subscribe for more videos to come follow me on Instagram follow Valtenda Boutique and I'll talk to you soon bye